How's it going guys? Welcome to another vlog. This one we're doing a little bit differently because um, I've actually been shooting stuff for about two months and I lost all my intro footage and some of the stuff I already shot. So fuck it, we're just winging it. Um, what I want to do today is I want to hit this with some bed liner so I got a plastic primer it. Um, the main reason for that, um, you can see here, here, here and a little bit here um, where it's glossy. Uh, you might recall back to when I did my uh, snorkel install where I heat formed it to the fender. Now that's obviously just left a glossy little plastic um, and I want all my plastic, my black plastic to match in uh, I guess like it's texture, it's sheen. I'm a bit OCD like that. Anyway, so today I'm just going to take these flares off um, and repaint this. Alright, as you can see I've got the flare pulled off. Cleaning it all off so I can get it ready to paint. Got a microfiber here, just really just going over any bits where you stir anything that it won't adhere to. Clean it off. I'm gonna mask it off with masking tape. And, uh, paint away. So we've done two coats of primer now, and uh, yeah, now we're just gonna hit it with the uh, bed armor. Alrighty, so it's been a minute. Um, I've gone ahead and finished painting the snorkel now. Uh, I've just wrapped this part off now because I'm gonna clean this up and go ahead and paint that as well. Um, I've saved you the boring parts by taping it off, taping everywhere else off as well. Um, obviously there's a lot more tape on the car than when I started painting because the spray of this shit is pretty hectic and it's a little bit windy today. Alrighty, while those mirrors are drying I'm just going to show you a bit more detail on the uh, paint job I've done here. Or a bit tighter. Alright, so you can see there is now no longer any glossy line along the uh, snorkel. It's a much more consistent looking coat. Um, it's also a bit darker, which I really like. It now also matches the uh, bumper in terms of colour. So I might have accidentally skipped ahead and um, started. Whoops. That's okay, I'll let this dry, flip it inside out, do the edges and... Still wet. Okay, so I'm kind of trying to finish up for today. I've gone ahead and taped off the other side. It's just drying out, uh, ready to get that first uh, primer coat. But for now, uh, the snorkel's dry and ready to go, so I'm just going to peel away with this. See how it looks. Alright, so just quickly doing the side two. Already primed it. see this here, this is some uh, garden edging, uh, it's basically perfect size for the fender uh, wheel garbiner that I wanted to make, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and um, come in and clean up my cuts with the angle grinder, coat it with black gals ink uh, so none of this rust um, can do any damage, 
got my wire brush here because there are a few spots where the paint is cracked where I'm going to have to um, clear, clean up any surface rust and yeah, get that coated so I don't get any rust on this fender panel. There's a few cracks just down this line here, um, so I'm just going to... I was lucky enough there wasn't really too much to clean up there, but one thing I do want to have to do, that I'm definitely going to have to, is pull this out a little bit to clean up that cut. and go before I go any further I want to show these cuts yeah so you can see that's where I've started grinding already evening it out but as we get back to where I need to keep going it's quite um, jagged and cracked so we've made it to about there and we're still gonna keep tidying it up So I've done about as much as I'm uh, happy to do. Alrighty, now with that done, as exhausting as it was, um, normally I'd file it, but I think I got it pretty smooth, so I'm just gonna hit it with the wire wheel again, get that surface scratched up, and then I'm gonna get my black zinc coat and uh, just prevent it from rusting. Alright, so that'll do us for today. Um, I've gone in, I've cleaned up those uh, spots back to bare metal and zinc coated them. So this way, it's just protected from rust. I don't want that shit spreading. Um, thankfully, I got a very clean CRV that was free of rust. Uh, and I just want to keep it that way. Um, really, the only spots of rust I've found are from my own uh, mishaps. So it's finally happening. They're finally actually getting properly painted. Because um, I've had that one done for like two months now and the other three unpainted. So that's coat one. Gonna come over and do this side. <coughs> so, that primer's dried nicely. So I'm just laying this on um, thinner coat than the other one. I'm just kind of splatting. Okay, so I've gone and painted those back two wheels now. Um, I've still got one to go, but I don't want to pull the front wheel off yet. So, gone in and doing my wheel liner. So, what I've gone and done is I've gone and um, drilled out some holes, uh, spaced it between the rear nuts for the flares. Um, <clears throat> got one to go for here. Um, and then, yeah, all I have to do is then drill the holes in the liner and then just get some bolts. Um, I've got some M6 bolts sitting around here. And then yeah, just secure it up. Love having the snorkel, but hate this airbox setup and this nasty Sikaflex job and this nasty mounting job with self tappers. So I've got this. And um, gonna make a high flow box out of it. Plenty of room made to spec so and size so it will fit and oh fuck it's heavy i'm going to use those threads down there to mount it should be good so i'm going to pull this off today plug that and pull this out so i can start working out how my high flow box is going to go I don't know if anyone's interested, but you can see the slight curvature from heat forming the snorkel. It's not actually as extreme as a lot of people thought, and it, I think it did go a long way to covering up the gap at the end of the fender. Alright, so we've got all the bolts off, um, we've cut out all the 
um, Sikaflex. And I'm just gonna pull this off <clears throat> so I can clean up the fender cuts and also um, clean up my nasty Sikaflex job. So I pulled the um, indicator out. So when I was doing my Sikaflex, I must have caught this here with it. So I'm gonna cut that out. Not the cable, just the second. Once I have the piping and that acrylic lid on, I have a feeling this is gonna look really fucking nice. Now, these are looking a little bit nasty, so I'm gonna pull them off and paint them. <laughs> 